the next one is a <laughs> one hell of a change of face. It is Grave Lord. So let's check out this guy. I'm just a simple guy from Storm. <laughs> Always wake up early in the morning. And do my lovely job. Like my daddy. And his daddy used to do. So smooth. Lately, things have been falling apart, making me job much harder. Well, at least I'll get paid. Dad knows how to keep his pipeline in check. The juicy benefits are nice and all, but for me, a handful of crypto coins is all I need. They keep me shovel polished. To buy me some guns. And even bigger guns. Nice. And to maybe play some cards with fun. So that one day I can kill the baddie who butchered my death. That boss looks interesting. I wonder if that's where you get the lightning gun from. Okay, boomer. Let's put the fun back in funeral. <laughs> okay. I had a lot to say about this one. Oh man, this one looks, this one looks fun. If you ever played Doom, Quake, Unreal Tournament, Heretic, any of those types of games, you're going to recognize the gameplay, obviously. I mean, it's, it's a boomer shooter, right? It's simple as that. It's an FPS boomer shooter. However, there are some mechanics that are a little bit different. The, the tarot card system that you saw, which allows you to enhance your abilities so you can <laughs> deal even more death. But man, that lightning gun looks like so much fun. Oh, jeez. No, hang, hang on a second. I want to have a look at those cards and see what different options are available. Like what we got here. Three-headed Hydra. Every third attack deals plus 100% damage. Shot him. Adds special alt attack that places shovel totem that zaps nearby enemies. <laughs> and shoveled. Adds a ranged alt attack to shovel that stuns the enemy. Yeah, because the shovel is a part of things. But let's just, I'm going to let this roll and we'll read a little bit about it. Gravelord is a fast-paced boomer shooter voiced by a badass protagonist featuring handcrafted levels filled with secrets and hordes of enemies to kill. Dish out some brutal carnage with powerful guns and collect tarot cards to gain even more killing power. Let's put the fun back in the funeral. This is developed and published by Fatbot Games. Previous games include Vaporum and Vaporum Lockdown. There is no release date published right now, and it looks like this is going to be on PC. You can guess where this game gets its inspiration from. It, it, it isn't hard to figure out, but it does have a somewhat unique aesthetic. It's not like the colors are, it, there's, there's some saturation to it, but it's also, I don't know, I kind of like the lighting. It's not too dark. It could be a little bit darker, but I mean, you could always modify that in the settings for the game, I'm sure. This game will knock your socks off and take you back to the time when you were a little boomer brat. Brave Lord is a boomer shooter FPS along the lines of Doom or Quake with modern graphics and audio as well as some fresh and fancy features. Run and jump around levels like a complete badass, beat the living hell out of enemies, and blow them up with powerful weapons like there's no tomorrow. Abstract level design heavily aimed at fun and engaging gameplay rather than realism. Because games can be too realistic to the point where they're not fun anymore, so it looks like I'm glad they're kind of <laughs> they're steering away from that. Figure out how to beat each level and find its deviously hidden secrets. So what's the special sauce? It's got a badass protagonist for bringing back the sassy, witty one-liners like Duke Nukem mixed with rotten charisma of Frankenstein's monster. You have a spectral shovel to get around quickly and confuse enemies. I don't know how that works, but we'll find out. Collect tarot cards to significantly boost your power level and combat options. Upgrade your weapons to unlock additional fire modes and synergies, which is something that those other games don't have. Doom, I don't know about, I didn't play too much of Quake and Heretic. Unreal Tournament didn't have any way to upgrade weapons, so that's kind of a neat twist on the genre. And this one's neat. Make your own levels with the integrated level editor. This will officially come out with the full release of the game. 
I love that idea, honestly, because it just it extends the replayability of this game, right? Because people will come up with crazy, insane levels, and then other people will feel the challenge and have to beat it. You've got people basically creating those levels for you for free. They're doing the work of keeping your game alive for you for free. Just like with a modding community. Why wouldn't you want that? Why? I don't get, I don't get it when people um, either don't allow modifications to their games or they give them cease and desist letters. I'm looking at you, Activision. Greedy assholes. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> So the badass protagonist's name is Quido, the Gravedigger. Dumb as hell, but as strong as an ox. <laughs> I just read that. Sets out to avenge his father while using his trusty total uber shovel to beat the living crap out of his enemies and give them a first class ticket to the underworld. Big boy has opinions. Guido com uh, oh, really? Guido comments on what's going on with his typical sense of rotten humor and cockney accent. And the neat thing is there's there's collectibles in this game that come in the form of comic book pages that you can use to learn more about the story as well. You learn more about the lore, if that's your thing, and backstory, and the overall world. And the neat, one of the neat things is, if you remember Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3D, and I think the newer Wolfenstein games had this, is as you take damage, his face changes. It starts off as, well, I was about to say clean and stuff, but he's he, eh, not exactly clean, but as he takes more damage, he gets bloodied up and beaten up which is always a nice touch kind of a callback to those earlier entries in the genre but as far as specs go again similar to icebound it's not going to need a bleeding edge machine but no slouch either so somewhere in the middle of the two you'll need a well you'll probably need to have some sort of discrete graphics card to play it but nothing bleeding edge so if you've got a an older pc you should be fine. But yeah, this one, this one I am definitely looking forward to. Making your own level sounds like you can have a battle royale of players. Ooh, you know what? Oh, I didn't read your earlier comment. Uh, gameplay reminds me of Duke Nukem. Oh yeah, and they do reference Duke Nukem having that badass protagonist with the, the funny one-liners. So that's probably one of the influences as well. Good, uh, good catch. Now, I'm curious about whether or not there's going to be any sort of multiplayer for this. Yeah, it is only single player. But who knows? They may add multiplayer later on, or based on demand, based on how many people are asking for it. Who knows? I hope they do. I hope they do, because this actually looks like a lot of fun. And just the, the, the movement throughout, like it, it really does catch that feeling of Unreal and Duke Nukem and and all that. But all right, that looks cool. That's one of the reasons I picked it. Next one is Beacon of Nada.